Hello, 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 Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another pick a card reading. This time it's on a highly, highly requested video. Your next spicy, raunchy, shh, rendezvous and encounter. Who's it gonna be? What are you gonna do? And what's gonna happen afterwards? Now, before I show you the piles, I have a surprise for you. I have something that I think you're gonna to wanna to use and have some fun with while you wait for that special someone to have that spicy, raunchy encounter with. My friends at Bless and I are literally giving away free toys and gift cards for toys to everybody who joins my giveaway, which is linked down below. Balesa's mission is to empower everybody to embrace, explore, and celebrate their sexuality. And best of all, Balesa is a bi woman company. It's called the Pebble. Suction and vibration are controlled independently. It's ergonomically built to fit perfectly in your hand. Right here is called the Air Vibe. It's is for dual stimulation. It's waterproof and rechargeable. Comes in a very discreet casing. And it's known for being silent but deadly. This right here is the Demi Wand. The Demi Wand works for all body types with a flexible neck that allows you to get just the right angle and pressure that you're seeking. It's an innovative design and it's whisper quiet. It's compact, discreet, and comes with the cutest charging case. It's USB rechargeable and 100% waterproof. No annoying pattern modes. I'm sure you're wondering right now, Aunt, how do I get one? Don't you worry, my friends at Bales and I, we've got your back. We have a giveaway for you. We are giving away free toys and gift cards for toys if you join the giveaway in the link down below. It's linked in the description. You don't wanna miss out, you will regret it. And don't you worry, all the packaging is super discreet so nobody will ever know what you got. Okay, so these are the piles for your next spicy, raunchy encounter. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So pile number one is the kiss. And don't make fun of my art, okay? I'm not an artist. All right, I did my best. <laughs> pile number two will be the whip. Yes, come on, artiste. <laughs> okay, and pile number three will be the lipstick. Yeah, I know, it's not that great. It looks like a can, but it's lipstick, okay? So all you have to do is pick one of these three piles and click the timestamp down below that corresponds with that pile, um, and you'll get your reading. So remember these readings are all different tapers only, and let's get started. Okay, pile number one. This is for your next spicy, raunchy encounter. What are you guys gonna do? Who's it gonna be? Let's see. Remember, if you guys like these, you can join the YouTube members, okay? It's linked down below. There's a lot of exclusive content that you are missing out on. All right, so you guys got the kiss um, emoji. So to me, I definitely feel like, you know, kissing is going to be important, and you guys are going to kiss very quickly and passionately. But what's interesting here is I do feel like there is a little bit more of a... Um, subtlety, a little bit more sultry, like think of it more like sensual than necessarily aggressive. So, and then here, I'll flip this. You guys got Slut Pop by Kim Patras. Yes. Okay. So Slut Pop, <laughs> definitely a classic rendezvous, a classic get together, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, more of like a, I don't know if I would necessarily claim it to be romantic i mean it could be romantic but it's a little bit more of the classic encounter um nothing too wild or too crazy at least at the start um and uh let's get you a song from that album while we we sort of wait here we'll get you a little song from that album i think that'll be kind of fun here let me okay <laughs> my favorite treat me like a slut so I think that one goes without saying. Go listen to that song. It might uh, prepare you for what's about to happen. All right, so let's see. Okay, we have Arachne Hubris. Ooh, that's interesting. I did not expect that. It's like pulling someone into your web. Mave Determination. So someone here is chasing super, super, super hard to the point where it's like almost like it, it's very intense. This chasing is very intense. Okay, there's a ch massive chase here. All right, we have Chiron healing. Okay, so this connection will be very powerful and very healing. Um, like to me, when I pull a card like that, that is always like something that um, is intense, um, very, very much sensual and 
yeah, there's a little bit of romance involved. I'm not going to lie. There's a little bit of this like um, sort of like feeling special and feeling like it's a special moment. Maybe the mood will be right. The setting will be right. Um, perhaps it'll just be one of those like fairy tale moments, but it's definitely very healing, healing of like something you've always wanted, something you've always wanted to experience. Very interesting here. Okay, so we have Neptune here. Wow, dreamy. I mean, this is going to be a dream scenario. I really feel like this is going to be like a fairy tale moment. This is like um, skinny dipping at the lake and then hooking up. Or this is going to be like, um, uh, like sneaking away and you know in the in the back behind the bleachers or whatever the hell like this is definitely one of those like little like hee hee like great memories like you know mile high club type of stuff definitely seventh house relationship and what's even funnier is that this is the type of person who you could potentially actually date was not expecting that you could absolutely this could be someone that you date or maybe just someone you consistently have fun with but this definitely feels like someone who will stick around um i also think this person is clingy but you might like that because that's what that chase is okay brother and sister transformation <laughs> Now, wait a minute. Now, slow down. Don't throw no chair at me. <laughs> this could mean that potentially they are the, like, hot sibling or maybe you had, an, you know, sort of maybe you know their sibling or family member or something. Uh, there might be some sort of previous connection. Um, maybe their sibling is really into you, but you're into this sibling, whatever. I don't know. Um, but I think for most of you, brother and sister transformation to me makes me feel like it's one of those things where this person may not exactly be who you normally would go after. Um, maybe you friend zone them or perhaps um, it was one of those things where you were just like not really sure about them. And then over time, you sort of like the mood is right the setting is right and that's when it happens goldilocks entitlement yeah it seems like it seems like i think i think one or both of you were a little closed off at first i think you're gonna i think there's gonna be a few conversations or connections before you actually hook up with this person okay wizard of the woods is focus bluebell fairy gratitude um this person is going to be there for you for something or give you a gift um, or pay for something. There's something chivalrous here, whether it's male or female. Um, this person's going to do something out of the kindness of their heart for you. And you're not going to expect it. Okay, we have cruelty. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And diversity. Yep. It's almost like you being hurt by someone else. This person kind of swoops in and heals that wound. Um, it makes you feel better. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Or maybe vice versa. Maybe you're healing them, but I feel like it's them to you. Woo, skill. I mean, this person is very good at what they do. <laughs> and again, you would not expect it. I think when people look at this person and they see their uh, physical uh, sort of being, I don't think they would expect this. This person is definitely a wild card. They're definitely, it's like beware of the quiet ones. Like this one definitely is going to be one of the best rendezvous you've ever had. Yes, come on, Rihanna. Self-trust. This person is so kind, so sweet, so gentle, so respectful. I mean, this is marriage material. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like this person, um, I think this person really listens well. They're a very good listener. They're gonna do as they're told. Um, definitely a pleaser. Wow, this person's great. You're gonna have so much fun. Yep, there's the star. You're gonna feel like the star. There's the sun and the chariots verse. This person is gonna be all in on you. And for some of you, maybe it'll scare you. Like I think for some of you, you might be like, whoa, 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 whoa slow down. Um, but this person's going to be obsessed with you, literally obsessed with you, put you on a pedestal, like cater to your every need. And they're not someone that needs to have multiple people. They're a one person type of person or maybe like a few, but like you're their number one. They would drop anything for you. And you're almost going to be like, wow, it's a little too simpy, but you need to get over that. Ace of Wands reversed, um, Moon reversed and Ten of Wands. Be careful of telling other people about this person. You tell other people about this person, they'll try to take them from you. They'll get jealous um, because no one really expects it from this person. No one expects this type, type of passion and love and romance and rendezvous. Um, and so I think that other people are going to get very jealous uh, very quickly and going to try to sabotage or take it from you. I also think with the um, moon reversed, I think that this person, um, I think that this person was lied about. 
like someone said something bad about this person previously or thought something bad or whatever, they have a reputation from something that's incorrect and not true. It's like if someone told everyone someone had a small you know what and it was actually huge, that type of vibe, you know? Or if this girl, you know, you know, smell bad, but she actually smells amazing. You know what I mean? Like it's like something cruel and unkind that someone did. Um, and uh, I think that's also where the healing is going to be, where you're going to be like, what the hell? Like you're a diamond in the rough. Um, so I love that. I'm going to leave it there. I think you're going to have fun with this person. And I'm excited. So if you like those, make sure you join the YouTube members link down below. Good luck. Okay, pile number two for your next raunchy, spicy encounter rendezvous. If you guys like these, join the two members. It's linked down below. You're missing out on a lot of additional content if you don't. Okay, so you guys got the whip. So I'm definitely feeling like there's a little bit more of intensity with this one, a little bit more kinky vibes. And the album that corresponds with this is Slut Pop Miami. Ugh, my favorite album this entire year. Um, y'all slept on it. So let's get you a song from that. I definitely feel like this is like, this is going to be more of an intense one. This is definitely one of those, like y'all gonna do some freaky stuff. Yep. Oh, my favorite. Well, second favorite, my favorite trim job, but this is, um, gag on it from Kim Petras. So period. Y'all already know what that's going to do. Okay. Self-explanatory. Go listen to that song. Get ready. Anyways, let's give you guys your reading. Ran abuse. Oh my God. Why y'all so freaky in this damn pile? Not y'all liking it rough and raunchy and wild. Oh my God. The fuck? Hell no. Atonement. Oh, so you guys like to be punished. Whips and chains excite me. Come on, ropes. Oh my God. I got a doctor's appointment. I cannot handle this pile. Woo. I'm getting hot in here. Damn. Okay, daddy or mommy, whatever you into. Goddamn, Venus, beloved. Oh, wow. Very, very, very beautiful. This person is really attractive. Pluto transformation. Oh, they're going to make you do things you've never done before. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. The 11th house, girl. <laughs> Y'all might even do a threesome. I'm not even going to lie. It could be a threesome. It could be other people involved. Either way, it's going to be one of those things where... Other people are going to talk about it and you're going to talk about it. You're going to be telling everybody. You're going to be telling everybody about this person. You're not going to be able to keep this person a secret. You're going to be bragging, telling all your friends. I think you might meet them through a friend or through some sort of group environment. Um, but my God, definitely a little bit darker, a little bit more intense, very physically attractive. I, I wouldn't be shocked if they had tattoos, but even if they don't have tattoos, this person is just like a very Scorpio ruled person, very intense. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily say that this person is someone that you're going to date. While Venus does mean that there is potential, especially with Pluto, which means things could change. 11th house is usually an Aquarius ruled house. Typically, that's someone who's like open relationship type of person or not looking for anything serious. I will be honest there. But, you know, some things can change. But I, I don't know about in the beginning. It might, might be a little bit more casual than you realize. Okay, Cinderella magic. The 12 Dancing Princess Enchantment. I mean, you could meet them at a club, too, with that. Um, but why are you enamored by this person? This person, like, puts you under a spell, almost. Starry Night Acceptance. Moonlight Enchantment Magic. I'd be shocked if you didn't meet them at nighttime, but why is there all this magic? We got magic twice. I wonder if they're very witchy or spiritual. I wonder if they're like more of like a a rich witchy spiritual. Even if they're not, there's something. Is this your dream person? Phoenix rebirth. We have another rebirth. Vir virulence. I can't even say that word. I mean, there's like poison. Oh. Oh, um, I think that this person, I don't want to say bad boy or bad girl, a little bit of that vibe, but it feels more like this person has done things that they're not proud of, fucked people over, stuff like that, especially in relationships. 
I feel like this person cheated before. I'm going to be honest with you. They're changed and they're trying to change, but I think that's why they're hesitant to be in a relationship because I think they've cheated before. I, uh, maybe even multiple times. I also feel like this person um, perhaps had to get rid of like toxic friend groups and stuff like that. Um, bad influences. Um, this is a wild child. Um, this is a spontaneous wild child. This person is like, if you dared them to do something, they would do it. Very charming, great smile, very intense. This person's a really fun fucking time, dude. Very, very fun. Yep, there is the Achilles heel, the confidence. They might be a little bit too confident, honestly. They might be a little bit too cocky. Justice, yeah. I mean, it's well-deserved, I'm not going to lie, but they might be a little bit too cocky. You might have to knock them down a peg. But maybe that's flirting. Maybe you guys like that. A little back and forth, a little bickering. Um, this person definitely is a little bit of a struggle with submitting as well. I would say this person's got a dominant personality. Even if it's a girl, she has a dominant personality. Um, brat behavior. Um, or Dom behavior, if you're into that. Um, but uh, I'm trying to figure out what... Okay, so there's the Three of Cups. Yeah, see what I mean? This person, I do think they have a high body count. I just feel like this person is... They mess around, I'm not gonna lie. Temperance, Devil, and Three of Cups. That's a hoe. I'm not gonna lie, this person's a hoe. Five of Swords reverse, Five of Cups, yeah. This person's a little bit of hoe and they're looking for an excuse to stop hoeing. They're in a hoe phase and they're looking for an excuse to stop hoeing. Good luck, be careful. Pile need, this pile needs to be careful. You need to be careful with your feelings. You need to be careful with your emotions. Be careful getting attached. This person's a lot of fun, but you need to be very careful. You need to make sure you're guarding your emotions because this is the type of person that could get up and run. Um, by three months though, if you're still talking to this person, you'll know. Um, Wendy Williams always said the three rule, and I, I feel like it's super accurate. Um, three months, three weeks, three three years, whatever. But um, I also feel like this person, they don't really have expectations. They're kind of just like floating right now, kind of just chilling, kind of just vibing. Um, however, I'm going to give you some tea. Since this Scorpio Leo-like energy, this person gets very jealous very quickly. So if you want to get something from them, being making them a little jealous goes a long way. However, be prepared because they're going to do it to you back. But making them a little jealous will get you what you want a little bit. If you're seen as desirable by other people, they want you more. So I'm kind of here for it, even though it's Messiana. So if you guys like that, make sure you join the YouTube members. It's linked down below. And good luck. Okay, pile number three. This is for your next spicy, raunchy encounter, rendezvous. A little fun vibes. So remember, if you like these, you can join the YouTube members. They're linked down below. You're missing out a lot of exclusive content if you don't join. Um, so this pile, you guys picked the lipstick. So, oh, y'all picked the lipstick. Yes, you can make fun of my drawing. Um, but to me, this is about leaving a mark on someone. Someone is leaving a mark on someone, maybe physically, literally, or metaphorically. All right. And we have Problematique by Kim Petras as the album. Um, that represents y'all. So, uh, yeah, I do think that someone here is a little bit of a bad boy or bad girl. Um, and definitely a little bit of a mischievous person. So let's get you a song from that album. Because why not? Confession. My Actually, that's my favorite album. I mean, favorite song from that album. Um by Kim Petras. So confession to me is about hiding, a, holding a secret in. Like I have a confession, I like you. So maybe someone has always liked you or maybe someone just kind of walk up to you and be like, you're super attractive. Um, but there's definitely some sort of confession. I wanna continue to pull so we can get a little bit more information about where that's coming from. Oh, coercion. Someone, ha someone, okay, someone being talked into it. That's the confession. Trust. Hmm. Okay, building trust. One one of you is not going to be interested at first or is going to be in a bad mood or is just like going to say no at first. There's some sort of like, and it's not because you don't like them. 
Um, it has to do with you being like, I think it's going to be you. You're going to be like, mm, I don't know about that. You seem like a fuck boy or mm, I don't know about that. You seem like a fuck girl. Like that's, a, that's, that's what I'm seeing. It's one of those things where it's like, nah, you're too charming. I don't trust you. Nah, you're too this. I don't trust you. You really like them. You think they're super cute, but you're like, mm, I'm going to make you wait. I'm going to make you wait. Someone is making someone else wait. And I feel like you're going to make them wait and it's going to be worth the wait. Definitely. That's what this is. That's what the confession is. Like this, this person is like going to be teased. There's a lot of teasing, a lot of teasing. And I also think when you guys get down to it, there's a lot of teasing, a lot of foreplay. Definitely lots of teasing, lots of saying no. One of one or both of you's favorite word is no, which you know what? Honestly, I can relate. That's my favorite word. Okay. Uranus is change. Okay. Unpredictability, by the way. So you're going to meet under wild, unpredictable state circumstances. And I think when you eventually have your rendezvous, it's going to be un unpredictable and, and random, like a random text messages. Saturn here, like I said before, someone is going to say no, and someone is going to like that they said no at first. Or maybe you're not saying no to them. Maybe you're saying no to someone else. I'm wondering if one of their friends is going to hit on you and you say no to them and then they swoop in or you're not interested in someone and they like that you're picky or you, they like that you said no or you like like some weird creepy person is all over you and you say no. There's some aspect of no in the beginning. It might not be from that person exactly. It might be from someone else. 10th house authority. I mean, this person's very successful. I'll tell you that. Um, and very popular. Very popular. Um, 10th house. I mean, they, they have a nice career. I mean, technically it's a public house, so they could be uh, someone who has a following, but not always. Um, but I will say this person definitely is, um, they, they, how do I word that? They're no, they get noticed. Like people notice them. They recognize them. They're popular. Um, you're not going to approach them though. I'm telling you, they're going to approach you. That's why you don't trust them at first. Okay. Red Riding Hood, Rites of Passage, Gretel. This person is clever. They're going to think of like a clever way to get your number, a clever way to kind of get to you. Um, I think this person is innovative. I think they improvise really well. Um, this person likes to court. They like the courtship. They like a little bit of the game, but it's more of the courtship. They like the game of the, of the chase. They like that sort of playful energy. Um... They like a challenge. They really like a challenge. Standing Stones Passage. Spirit Guardian of Audium. Let him go. Ooh. They have a prominent person from their past who's going to get very jealous very quickly over you. They're trying to get rid of them from their life, but this person is kind of obsessed with them. Um, and... Um, this person is going to be a little bit of a thorn in your ass, but I actually think you're going to like it because I think that's going to kind of make it more fun. Someone is going to get jealous of you from their past. Yep, there's the lies and invulnerability, Jersey Devil. Um, you're going to think this person's a liar when you first meet them, but they're actually telling the truth. Other people lie about them. Um, they are, they do have a silver tongue. They are a very smooth talker. But here's the thing. I see this person, I see, it's not just the one from their past. There are other people that talk shit about this person because they can't have them. Everybody wants this person. I'm going to be honest with you. And you're the only one that's not impressed. But everyone else wants this person. And that's why there's a lot of bullshit. And I do think there's going to be a target on your back because when you do end up with this person, and you will, excuse me as the truth, other people are very much going to cause drama. You're going to have a little bit of drama, I'm not going to lie. Vishnu is balance. And then we have Athena strategy. <laughs> Oh my God, this person has a habit of dating himbos or bimbos. Everyone from their past is very dumb and very stupid. And I think that this person has the reputation of being kind of like a himbo or bimbo. I'm not going to lie because I do think they're very popular and attractive and stereotypically attractive. Um, but, and they've had things come a little bit easier to them than most, but, uh, I think they're looking for something different and you know that what that difference is. I just, I just think that for you, you're just going to, I think their biggest battle is that you're going to be unimpressed. I think you're going to have a lot of fun. I think when you like hook up, I think it's going to be really good, like really good for you. Cause like, I, I just think you're going to feel like, like almost like an ego boost. Like it's going to feel 
almost like you won. Um, but this person really wants to work for you. I think, I think, yeah, here, so the, the hookup here is more about the appearance of it, um, than necessarily, um, the actual experience. The experience is still really good. Don't get me wrong. But this person is really, really fine, like really hot. And when I tell you everyone wishes they were you, like that's going to get you off even more than anything else. Um, I also feel like um, this person is um, very loud, like super loud, like it's giving porno, I'm not going to lie. Six of Wands, Tower Reversed, and Nine of Swords. Like this person, it's giving reenacting porno type of vibes, but not in like a weird, creepy way, in a like hot way, in like a, oh, fun. Um, but yeah, loud, get a pillow. Now, Death Card, Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. This is interesting. Because death is like a rebirth, which is the literal definition of this entire spread. Seven of Pentacles is comfort and King of Cups. This person will eventually get super attached to you um, after hooking up with you a couple times. This person's going to get very attached to you very quickly. Um, and you're going to have to make a choice whether or not you actually want to dive into this person's world. Because they have a unique world. If you want to dive into this person's world or if you want to break their heart. So... If you guys like that, make sure you join the YouTube members. There's a lot of exclusive content you're missing out on. Okay, good luck.